Okay, this weekend of RLCS was just baffling. We have had several top teams either getting upset or not making an entire event. This all started really with little upsets like MAE beating G2 and Genji and Swiss, but became way worse when Genji lose to OG and MAE fall victim to their top eight cast losing to card nine. But you know, an upset here and there isn't that big of a deal. I mean, NA settled down with semis and finals going about as expected, although I was hoping Cloud9 would upset and I kind of wanted Space Station to win it, but whatever. But as this is all going on, the EU qualifiers was happening, where once again, Kami Corp lose to Sa. Huh? Honestly, it's forgivable, but they can just make it through lowers, right? And they'll be all good. Oh, wait, they lost again. Kami Corp, the massive org that fills out our arenas, have not made main event, which ultimately leads to to even if they win the next regional, they might not make it to the London Major and maybe not even Worlds. I can't even begin to describe how bad this is for the eSport. And it all comes down to the format. A top eight team from the last regional should instantly qualify for the next regional. Is it not common sense? Now, obviously Carmine should be winning in these games, but because they don't have this format in place, one of the biggest orgs who bring in crazy numbers and sell out tickets to these LAN events might not be going to these events anymore or watching anything because how can you watch a team or support a team that isn't even at the event? This means a decline in viewership. This also gives orgs an incentive to leave our eSport entirely as there is no guarantee anymore that you will get time on the big stage in front of an audience, which is how orgs make their money and build their brand. These random events that could happen are terrifying for an org. And Rocket League needs orgs for their esport to do well. It's like they're purposely trying to scare them off. I don't get it. So if there's anything from this weekend that I hope we can take away, it's that Rocket League need to change their format. I really do believe it. And I just, I don't want to see this happen again. It's really upsetting. And it's just one bad day and you're screwed. You're screwed for the whole event. Ultimately though, something has to change. Most importantly on day three of open quals, and I have heard people recommend a Swiss bracket instead of the double elimination bracket they have right now, which would give a more consistent result for teams and orgs at an expense of taking longer. I think that is a fair price to pay, however. It will also give teams who deserve to be at the main event a more consistent chance at making it there. We have actually been so lucky more teams haven't been screwed over by this current format. I do really hope this situation with Carmine and the other teams that have had the same fate will catch Epic's eye and something will be done about it. I mean, to be honest, Swiss as a whole isn't the best. We've seen too many times with recently Crew and Space Station in the past that you can just get really unfortunate in your top eight matchups or top four matchups. If you have less slots, that's more of a deal. You can just get screwed over by a top team and there's nothing you can do about it. Space Station had Gen G or G2 three qualifiers in a row in the quarterfinals. And people will just say, well, you should have just beat them. But I don't think that's a fair argument at all. They should not have to beat the top one and two seeds just to get fourth. It's a bit of a dumb format. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is players being able to switch to any region they would like to play RCS. So right now over in SSA, we have a team consisting of three Spanish players that are now dominant in a region that they have no ties with, no players from there and they have just gone because it's easier competition now this is both a player and a game issue but i'd say it's more of a ruling issue than the player issue i mean there should be rules in place to stop players from doing these things but most people would avoid doing this kind of thing as it's just seen as morally wrong and who wants a european team winning an ssa regional and going to a major representing ssa but they're not even from SSA. It doesn't make any sense. You might as well just have another EU slot at that point. I mean, imagine you're from SSA and you finally got a slot. You're ready to watch your team in RCS and it's three people who aren't even from your region. I mean, that's just insane. But yeah, I don't think for a second it should be allowed. And now I'm not going to say that one player from a different region on an otherwise fully SSA team, for example, is a bad thing. I think that's a perfectly fine thing to do. But when the majority of the team isn't from that region, I think that is wrong. And that is where I have an issue. So I turn my eyes once again to Epic to make the change and stop these players taking spots from people who are actually from the region and can represent their region. I do think Blast are doing their best with what they have. I, I really do believe that. Uh, I really hope so at least, but I guess we'll find out. There's also some positives going around this weekend. So some fun positives. NIP were going off over in Sam this regional, starting off where they were 13 seconds from elimination versus complexity before they pulled off this crazy kickoff strat to come back. I have never seen something like this kickoff. 
It is baffling. They then move on to the semis where they beat Team Secret. And then again, one up themselves and beat Furia in the finals. Perfectamente agrupados para detener eso, pero encontraba el pixel exacto. No, lo perdía momentáneamente. Subí por el aire. Londo tiene que denegar. Si Londo pierde la posición. Oh, well, apparently the 15 year old rookie Swift had to evacuate last week due to a flooding. It's just good job, NIP. We also had the first woman since Season X qualifying for a main RCS event. So huge congrats to her. That is a crazy achievement. I mean, not much to speak about, but yeah, just. Good shit. I will, however, show some highlights from the series that qualified them for the main event. Patient behind us, that second player, too patient, perhaps, and Smashy does try to knock him out the player. Lens sees a mess in front, sees a teammate as well in field. Match will be that third. All players involved here. And oh, it's that little delay, Danny. It's those subtleties. One ball should be considering a long one, popping it higher than that. But again, it's inviting pressure. Alan's awkward enough here. That's a bit of poor defending to be on. Just when you thought there might be a half a chance opening up here, Demos will do at least one thing. Give yourself a chance. And here we see a shot from that. Slow kick off. Pass two. Alan's is up. Alan's is on. Smashy's there. And it's Smashy gets the goal. That goes back as well. Smashy has you in the tank, has three plays in front. Also, a close kiss ball does get a flip reset. It's going to be a chase for that one. Which one will win? Off the ceiling, flip reset for sure. Coming off the backboard, won't get a follow up touch. Really, as Smicey's up, the backboard's looking good, but the ceiling's looking better. The net's looking wonderful. Smicey does it again. And it is stopped there by the North Sleeper defense. That must be flicked. No. The power they would have. But Matt and so taking turns here. One, two players. Alum should be bumped. Goal! Goal! Mind you. And this is not over yet. Down! Matt! Matt has put it in! Alums. She needs to rotate back in time here, but Gom has he! And the pressure on everyone here. And the lens just, like you said, arguably the best female player of all time. Trying to secure her stamp! It was only started in January, 11th of that two. She teamed with Prime and Goff. She had some of the best the teacher in the game. Even the management and coaching then, but she has found her team to take her to the top 16. We had Joyo making a second regional for the first time this season. Congrats, I guess. Although, clearly that is an achievement nowadays. But that is about all. Sorry, it was just a ramble. But, uh, you know, it might be fun. I don't know, whatever. Uh, what was this weekend, man?